You are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame. Let's go! Alright, yo, man. 15 Minutes of Fame. What's up, what's up, boy? I'm in Philly. And I got this, uh... Guy Oops pops up in Philly. Yeah, man. <laughs> what's up, brother? What's going on? And, and you know, it's funny because it's like, damn, you know, we got the car coming up, the RBE, Pearly Gates 3. And I said, I ain't going to be able to get no interview with Oops. So I'm going to have to try to holler at him and get a Skype interview or something, man. I got you on cam, bro. Look, I, look, I don't care what position I get, what I run for. I'm be battle rapper until I'm up out of here. So. Tell, tell me, break down everything that you've been doing, man, since, you know, the last time you battled. And now, what is it, like I told you, I, what do I call you, Senator, Mr. President? What are we talking now? Where are we at? So, so I, uh, I'm a, I'm actually a state representative member. I'm like the state congress okay. um, in Missouri, but I am running for Senate next. So all I've been doing is trying to bring resources back to the hood. You know, right. we finally got somebody in office who you know folks can actually trust that come from the hood you know know the challenges and barriers and so that's all I'm doing so I'm just trying to take that and, and move legislation get bills passed put money into the budget you know shit like that who better to help our people than somebody that's been there damn right you you got a lot of uh, people that's in politics and never had to eat a bowl of oatmeal with no sugar. Right, real tough. Real <laughs> or tough. cereal with water. You can't. You so can't, they don't understand. You can't talk about homelessness if you ain't had to worry about where you're gonna sleep. You can't talk or about feeding people. Somebody close to you. Absolutely. That, you know. Absolutely. You didn't have to go through it. So, it, it, like you said, it's nobody better to to do that than somebody who's been in the trenches, um, who you know from the streets to the activism to whatever it is they want to call it, and then even with battle rap, like. Now I got a platform, so why would I stop battle rapping now that I got, now that I got, you know what I'm saying, hundreds of thousands of people watching battles, I need to say something that's going to resonate, I need them to understand how things going, you can get wrapped up in battle rap, that's cool, but I need you to hear this mess. Right, right. Now, how did they welcome you, like, when you first initiated the whole... <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't no welcome. <laughs> it, whether, whether it was those who look like us, right? right. The establishment that don't want change. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, it was the Republicans who run my state. You know, Trump won my state mm -hmm. at the end of the day. <clears throat> so, you know, we got a predominantly Republican, you know what I'm saying, uh, House of Representatives. So, I mean, I had to fight. But I earned that respect on both sides. We agreed to disagree on certain shit. We worked together on other shit. And, and I get it done. No, I mean, I, I, it has to be like you got face tattoos. You a battle rapper? I know they. Do they know that? Did they know that? <laughs> They know that. Yeah. They, they tried to attack me for it. Man. You know? Yeah, but I mean, like I told them, you know, Michael Mack said, don't be in such a hurry to judge somebody because they don't do what you do or do as you do. It was once a time when you didn't do what you do today. That's you know what I'm saying? So judge me on what I've done since I've been in office, since I changed my message. You know, they go back to the old lyrics and all that, but talk about what's going on now, you know? And so when I hit them with that, they, they really don't have a choice but to listen. Right. And I ain't no asshole about it. Right. You know, I, right. I, I, because at the end of the day, I still got to get shit done for the community. And I always try to tell people, I said, uh, to be a battle rapper, you got to be smart. You, you can't, it's not like me, like I can't be no battle rapper, I'm, I'm half with it. Talk. I'm playing, you just accepted that too, that was <laughs> raw. Like, yeah, yeah, you are, motherfucker. No, but, um, and I always say that, man, I say you guys are some of the most intelligent guys on the planet to be able to put together what y'all put together, so why not be able to run for a seat and do something positive for the community, so. If you can, if you can politic and battle rap, you can politic in real life. Fact. If you can sit down, write bars, you know what I'm saying, you can write legislation. You know what's going because we rapping about the struggle, whether we're talking about gun violence, whether we're talking about drugs, we know what we're talking about. Right. So why not rap about it and then actually go do something to fix it? You know, and then who better to do it than those who already got a platform, who already got name recognition, who some of the biggest folks in their particular communities, right? Imagine if every battle rapper went back to their community and ran for office. All of them would win. Damn. All of them would win. And make a difference. And make a difference. Because they know what they know what it is. Mm. Yeah, you got hundreds of thousands of people paying attention to you. Why not use that in a positive light and still keep battle rap? Real talk. Yeah. Yeah. In or out, in or out, we need this clear. 900,000 people saw me versus Daylight. 900, and right. which is one of the best 
battles known to man right now. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And they got to see that third round from both of us. Mm -hmm. They got to see battle rap transcend to something else, right? 300, four, almost 400,000 saw me and me and uh, O Red. Right, they got to see the third round where I talk about Mike Brown, talk about Ferguson, talk about what I've been through. Right, 100,000 people saw me verse XL. Well, I continued on that same message. So, if we gonna have our platform, we might as well use it. That's a fact, that's a fact. I'm proud of you, brother. Man, I ain't gonna lie, you, when I first saw that you was doing it, I was like, damn, good luck, man. That's gonna be a hard battle, you know, um, for a battle rapper, no pun intended. But you did it, brother, and I'm proud of you, man. man appreciate I'm proud it, of you, bro. Man. Appreciate and, it. And, and again, man, you set the the example, man, that, you know, it ain't where you're from, man. It's, it's what you do. That's it. So you, you definitely set the standard for that. 15 Minutes of Fame. You are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame. Let's go!